are, let's say, debatable or, or we can discuss. Mm. For example, mm. to invade another country and to steal their resources because it's good for my people. Mm. That can be a very subjective discussion or argument, mm. especially if you leave God out of the picture. Because then you could say, well, we are all a product of a primordial soup. Atoms simply, atoms simply coming together and assembling themselves in a particular way. Mm. And my people, my culture, I feel subjectively that are superior to every other culture, every other person. Yeah. So if I come into your land because I'm stronger, yeah. just like the lion tears the wildebeest yeah. to shreds, I'm going to come into your territory steal your resources and I'm going to kill all of your people. Yes. Now, how would you, without God being in the picture, say somehow intrinsically, as a matter of fact, that that's an immoral action? Okay, well, a lot of these places, they, they, they worked out it wasn't a good idea to do that, and they worked out some kind of um, reciprocal arrangement with these places. No, so, but how would you so argue? They, they did, no, I'm, not, I'm saying that that doesn't always happen. Often it's not like that. There'll be a reciprocal arrangement. That it's not good to go and then kill everyone. We'll try and we'll get some, there's a two-way street, perhaps. So, but how would you establish that as a matter of fact? Well, you see it in history. No, that's not that, that's not matter of fact. That's an opinion, right? What do you mean? I don't. This is very. How, how would you say to that person, "Don't do that. That's an immoral action." How well, would you be able to establish about that? Perfect morality. I don't think it really exists. People, okay. Everyone's often looking for something they can get for themselves. I understand right. that. Yeah. But there is there is a level of compassion inherent within a human being that can be tapped into. No, I now, agree. Whether that's divine or not. No, I, no, I, I agree. Compassion and having non-compassion yeah. is something that we can establish. A mother, a mother doesn't need well, my, divine but my, to know how to love it. Child, I totally agree. Child. I totally it's agree. Inherent. I totally agree. But if she if she decides not to feed that child and that child dies, mm. how well, that's an unusual how, scenario. It does I, I totally agree. It does how would you establish, from a matter of fact, that what you've done is it completely immoral? Well, you you it's, you can just say whatever you want. You can say it comes from a book that was given to a man in a cave in the Middle East, seventh century, or you can say you heard it from your father. It's of no concern. It's just you either have the idea in your head or you don't. Okay. Its source, uh, its source is debatable as to whether it's its authenticity or it's where its origin is from. People knew these things before the Quran, so it's obviously it's a universal. These uh, Carl Jung calls them archetypes. You know these ideas, these principles. They're in here. They're unavoidable archetypes. Now you could say that is a, that's a tribute to Allah. That's fine yeah, yeah. if you want to say that. You could call, I mean, Allah just means God, right? Yes. So it's this sort of nebulous idea of some being beyond us that's created the universe separate from its creation. That's okay. You see, what we what we would argue is this: that from a purely materialistic reality, mm. it's impossible to argue with a a definite that this particular action or that particular action is immoral or moral okay. because I'll tell you why why do I know morality but, but please let me just if I, if I could just finish my point yeah no no that that's a different argument right, and, and right. We, we can make that we can have that argument we can have that discussion <coughs> the, the, the reason why it's difficult or if not impossible is because a purely material existence is purely uh, uh, purely uh, is saying that you are assembled with atoms in a different way from this brother or from me mm. or from a, a gazelle or from a, 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 an antelope or whatever. Mm. There's no meaning beyond that. And whatever meaning beyond that that you attribute is again simply uh, arbitrary. Well, it's various. We have different gods and different cultures. No, no, that, that's a different argument, right? No, it's not. Now, what, I'm, what I'm saying to you is that from, a, from our paradigm, I could turn around and tell you to go and kill an innocent person and steal his resources yes. is haram, forbidden. It's immoral. Now, I can't tell you it's immoral from a purely materialistic standpoint. The only way I can come to that conclusion is that Allah has made it immoral. So for me, that yardstick of certainty to measure everything by comes from the Creator. I hear that. But when I use my own yardstick, I could argue that it's perfectly moral, just like Dick Cheney after the uh, Iraq war, when he was asked, why did you invade Iraq and kill nearly a million okay, people? Let me answer no, he, 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 he said, no, no, I, okay, he, he, it, was in our, it was in our benefit. I'm going to get lost. You're saying that, that people can't, can't uh, generate or, uh, or experience 
philosophical, moral uh, principles without the idea of God. No, I didn't say that. But that's what you're implying. No, we believe that Allah. No, though. no, no. Because if, no, no, if you no. said that to me and we were in Greece and you had the, the, the Stoics and all the yeah, different yeah, philosophers yeah, and yeah. so on, and they, they thought about and you know, am I not allowed to listen to them and go, and through my, and through empathy. I'm, I'm going to just go and pray now. <laughs> through yeah. empathy and compassion, understand that. Yeah. I can understand so, so, that. So, without, Dr. Imran. No, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand that without God. Can you though? Yes. I can. Okay, so you, you're saying you've, you've evolved your morality, right? It's happened. I just no, said, no, it's no, a, you can't. You can. So I'm not a Muslim, so, but I know it's wrong to rape. I know it's wrong to rape. I don't have to be a Muslim to know that's wrong. You're arguing a side point. No. Well, the, the question here is about the basis of your morality. Put all the microphones on it. I'm going to go and pray. From there. If you're saying, look, we can, I know the all, all, of your, all of your statements so far with your brother, you're talking about a nebulous idea of God. There's no nebulous idea, it's very clear. Right? Can you guys excuse me? I'm just going to go and pray. Is that okay? You're talking about, you know, I can just sit there and think about it. Well, I have, I'm, I'm a fully complete, I'm a, I have a, a, the whole system here. How do you know that? Well, I'm able to understand it's not no, a good no, idea to, to uh, pray. Just, just put it on him anyway. Because I know. I don't know if they do 10 minutes. I know, or I don't, I've never read the Quran. I have read some of the Quran. I've read Okay, we'll go then, shall I? I've never read the Quran, right? So therefore, I don't understand it's not right to rape someone. Is that what you're saying? So don't give me the emotion. No, no, that's, 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 that's not what I'm saying. That's not nonsensical. So that's that's what just hear, hear the argument. So you're... No, you're not listening. This is dogmatic, you're not listening. So you're, you're telling me that I'm not listening whilst not letting me talk. You're implying <laughs> that because I'm not a Muslim, no, I don't know... I have not said it's saying right. I've not, not said anything so about so Islam. I'm not saying... It's my moral judgment. What's your name? Wait, wait, wait. Let me just... Forget. Before I forget. You're saying my moral not to go and rape is invalid. We're not saying that. This okay. is, this is, your, this is reminiscent oh, of that. So is, is my have. morality? Yeah. Uh, one just, question. Just one, this all I want to know. Is my morality valid? Just one question. That's it. And then I won't Alex, say anymore. Alex. Is my morality valid? Alex, one second. Is compared my to what? morality as compared, valid? As compared to what? To not go out and hurt someone. That's, is, it, is it yes or no? It's not a yes or no quite answer. Well, it's obviously if you, no. If you wanna, you, you if you, no, no, this is the problem here. But you're See, saying you're, my morality What you're doing is you're taking... Alex, 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 listen, listen. Let's have a conversation. You're not, Alex, I am having no, no, a conversation, no, you're not. You, you don't answer my you, question. No, no, we are, we're trying to. What you're doing is you're giving these primary school level questions. No, no, primary school level questions. Well, I'm not hearing anything. All I hear is saying to you. So you want, this is, what, sorry, what was your name? Alex. 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 What? The, I want to go and the, pray, but let's have a let's have a conversation. We are, but you're not I, I, answering. I, no, no, but hold on a second, Alex. Alex, the questions that you ask, are, are you, 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 right? you may, you may no, feel they're, you, they're you may feel uh, should be answered in a yes or no. Yeah. And not all questions can be answered in a yes or no. Okay, I hear that. So let, let him answer yeah. the question. But you're I, I but one thing quickly. You are asking me where do I get my morality from? What's your basis for morality? Okay, and my experience of morality is, is something that I just know. It's okay. inherent. I know. Right. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Right. So now, now you. All right. But, but Enjoy. That, right. That's the that's the first level of your answer. Yeah. I just know this. I, a mother knows how to love her child, doesn't she? She does. She doesn't need the Quran. She just knows it. So does she need the Quran? To know so how to go. love her child. So, so this is these are the emotive sort of type of questions. No, these are these. It's not emotional. This so, is just a 